Yo, what's going on, everybody? J Mando back with another YouTube video. And as y'all seen by the title today, I'm gonna be going over how to make marketplace listings. All right, so first of all, before we get into the video, I just want to say thank y'all so much for the support. Y'all been killing it with the likes, uh, subscribes, views. I'm not even gonna ask y'all to like and subscribe because y'all already been killing it. I don't even gotta say anything. But yeah, now that it's out of the way, appreciate y'all. So yeah, as you see by the title, uh, marketplace listings, this is something that people overlook a lot. Yeah, so most people, they, you know, they're just going to take a picture, right? Got your product here, whatever it may be, this, that. I mean, this doesn't even just only go for reselling. This really goes for anything, right? Let's say that is old phone right here. I want to sell this phone, you know, just trying to make some extra money on the side this summer, whatever it may be. You're moving out, got to make some bread. This goes for everything, any marketplace listing, right? You know, everyone thinks just take a picture, title it, which for the most part is true, but a little bit more goes into it than you would think um in terms of you know trying to make as much sales as possible and be as efficient as possible with your listings so today i'm gonna be going into some some pictures with some listings all throughout macari i'm gonna show you guys some sold listings you know some not sold listings at different price ranges and show you how important your pictures and listings can be because a really good picture and listing could be the difference from selling a pair of these for 60 and selling a pair of these for 100 so like i said a lot of people you know you wouldn't think it's that important but it definitely can get you some more sales and some more money all right y'all so we go ahead and looking up airpod pro 2s here on macari and we're just going to go through a couple of these and i'm going to show you some examples of good pictures and bad pictures so right off the bat right here this is a great picture if you have a open box you definitely want to be taking pictures like this and i'm going to show some more examples that i personally have posted later but you know you want to show off all your products and you want a clean background right you want to look like a professional uh, photographer almost like this is a really good picture if i'm making a website and i'm selling this product this is a picture that i would consider using but now you come over here to something like this this is awful first of all no box 125 dollars. the price is already ridiculous this will not sell i promise you this will not sell the remote in the background the dude's on his bed he's holding them in his hands i mean at least his nails are cut we'll give him that but this is not a good picture Something like this, not great. I'm gonna show y'all. This is this this is a good picture right here. This is a perfect example. A clean picture, a nice appealing background. Let's see what else we got here. Something like this. Like these look like professional pictures. If you saw this, you wouldn't doubt that a professional took this. But now you come over down here, right? And this dude's got his LED lights on. <laughs> he doesn't even have the second AirPod, so we won't use that one. But like this is a good picture right here. This one, another clean picture. I'm trying to look for some more uh, bad examples for you guys. Let me let me see if I can come across one. All right, didn't didn't take too long, but right here, this is a terrible. I mean, you can barely even see it. The quality's bad. LED lights are on. Just holding them in hand. I mean, like the amount of effort it takes to take a better picture than this is so minimal. Yet it will result like it will bring you such better results. There's just no reason to not take better pictures. This dude could have turned his his normal lights on prop this up on a piece of even white paper and taking a way better picture um you know something like this like this these these are just good clean pictures and this whole row right here this is actually my listing that's kind of funny but this whole row is a great example look 95 which i sold mine 114 80 76 92 you know majority of these are good prices to get for airpods nowadays these are great prices and all these pictures I would say want these these two can use some work, but mine, this one, this one, these are pretty good pictures, and you could see it results in the money you get back. And guys, the reason I'm saying this is so important is because look, if I look up AirPods and Macari, I mean this is just flooded, right? Everyone and their mom is doing this. So you have to think logically. If I'm posting AirPods and 50 other people are posting AirPods, what is gonna set my listing aside, right? So if I'm posting a picture like this, this looks pretty good versus a picture like this, posting this picture is the reason why I'm gonna get a sale. I mean, you know, obviously this doesn't have a box, and, but you understand the point I'm trying to make, right? If, if this dude here and, and this dude here are selling the exact same product with the exact same listing, the exact same everything, the thing that's gonna set them apart when someone is scrolling by is the picture. So it's very important. Don't overthink the picture or don't overthink, like, don't think it's not important. The picture is very important and it, it will be very, uh, vital to making sales and i'm gonna show you some examples of that that i personally have done here's another example i want to make i think i showed this in my last video but this is a terrible product photo 
I mean, let's not even mention the price is 250 but if someone's scrolling by, they're not buying this. Now, on the contrary, I'm going to show you guys what my listing looks like, and I don't even need to cut this because it didn't sell too long ago, but here it is. I got 85 for this, and this is a quality photo, right? You know, I put it in the sunlight. The backdrop could be a little better. I'm not going to say this is perfect, but I wanted the sunlight, and, you know, this was the best option for me. Like, they're just quality, good pictures, clean pictures. You know, if you're scrolling by and this is the picture you see, this right here, you know, you could justify paying $85, right? Now, these are some of my personal listings, and as you can see, I use a good, clean front picture. And even when the box is open, I'm using a white backdrop. This one's a little dark, but a white backdrop. Every product or everything in the box is shown, clean background, and that's what all my product pictures look like. And you can see... I'm selling these open boxes for a hundred, like they're nothing, right? All of these are selling. Just to give you guys a better look, clean. I'm gonna show you this in person later too, but nice white backdrop, products here, everything in the box laid out nicely. It just looks clean. It's a quality picture. And like I said, if people are scrolling by and they see a nice picture, it's more likely it's gonna sell for a higher price, right? I'm not listing my AirPods up for sixty dollars. I'm not doing that. I'm putting them up for a hundred, and they're selling. All right, y'all, so this is my personal setup. Don't, don't mind the table, but real nice bright lights here and just a super clean white backdrop. So I got two products here, and I'm, I'm going to set up and show you what a listing of mine would look like once again. All right, guys, so don't mind these being the plastic. They're brand new, but this is what a good picture would look like. If I were to just go right here, I put the flash on, probably get rid of some of those shadows and just take a picture right now. This is a great listing. You know, your product is right here, front and center, and then all the accessories lined up neatly. They look good. You scroll by and you see this compared to somebody, you know, holding them up like this on a bed. You're going to go with these. Trust me. All the buyers will do that. And I know from experience, I've sold probably almost 20 of these types of products, you know, with the AirPods and such. All right, y'all. Last thing before I wrap this video up is just want to touch on the title and the description portion of this. It's really not as important as the photos. Like I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not, but the photo is the main thing people look through, right? If I search up AirPods and Macari, you know, every title is going to say AirPods. But when I'm looking through, as I mentioned, the thing that's going to set your listing apart is going to be your product photo. So one thing I would mention is you may have seen in some of my older listings that I showed, but I no longer put Apple in my title. It's just because, you know, it gives people the idea that they're reps, which is, you know, a good thing. They will still sell, but... You really don't want people um, expecting they're real because, you know, it's going to lead to more returns. But if they do and, you know, like the ones on my website are good quality, you'll probably get away with it nine times out of ten. But, yeah, I usually just title mine, you know, capital, capital uh, every word, but just AirPods Pro 2 and then description, just AirPods Pro 2 brand new. And, you know, simple as that. I leave it at that. Like I said, every other listing is probably going to have the same title or something very similar to it. And, you know, the main portion of this video and what's going to be important for your listing is the picture, which I went over today. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much going to do it for today. I just want to get this video out because I know a lot of people, like I said, don't value this and, you know, kind of just look over it completely. But, you know, as I've showed you today, it's actually pretty important and can definitely lead to more success with reselling or just selling products in general. So, yeah, once again, thank you guys for the support. If there's any other videos or uh, suggestions, anything you guys want to see, leave them in the comments. And, yeah, I'll see you all next time. I'm out. Have a good one.